Hey yo, and welcome to Callum's Corner. Welcome to a meme review. But this time, it's a little bit different. Normally, I watch and react to various different memes that different people have kind of made and submitted to me. This time, it's just one meme that I'll be watching. Um, but it's a mega meme. It's a meme of mass bloody destruction. It's 25 minutes long and it's been made by loads of different people apparently all the kind of sordid little meme monkeys have somehow found each other online and bandied together i mean if you've not got youth clubs nowadays if you've got something better to be doing with your life than this oh no apparently you haven't have you um yeah so that's what's happened they found each other they've condensed all the filth into this one mega meme that i'm now going to spend the next 25 minutes of my life watching and reacting to yeah you can see how much i'm looking forward to this can't you um yeah i will pause it this time loads of you were moaning last time well you're talking over the meme we can't hear the meme like it's some kind of fine dining a posh meal or something that's got to be consumed under the right conditions I and mean, we're lucky I'm watching this at all, if anything, to be honest with you. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I will pause it so you can hear the meme this time. Okay, here we go. I've never covered a child sex case like it. The abuser, a no, young middle-class British man. This is horrific. His victims, scores of vulnerable young children in Southeast Asia. They didn't think there was anything that was going on, so they just didn't suspect anything. I'm on the trail of one of Britain's most prolific paedophiles. Hey all, and welcome to Gallum's Corner. There it is. Drink soy, I drink soy, you queer. Don't believe you can milk bloody Eddie. You can see it in my penis when it's curled. I eat poo in my sister's ass. See me strutting like the true Geordie. Me just cursing through my buttocks. Here has the funky dinosaur his own pearls. I eat who is Philip Schofield. Ask. Oh, I'm an anon. I'm a big non. I eat who in a David Cameron. Ask. Oh, I'm an anon. I'm a big non. I eat who in Will and A. Ask. Shot it, you big you had oh, yes no, and nice. I'm gonna make you pay. It takes a queer to rape a couple of eight years old black pornographer. You said it's shit. Ends run out today. Whoa. I'm a nonce. I'm a big nonce. I eat poo in a Peter Capaldi's ass. I'm a big nonce. I eat poo in an Eddie's ass. Right, yeah, well done. I mean, I managed to watch it and not talk. That was really difficult. And it's just annoying. You've ruined something there. That was a beautiful song. That was like art for my heart. And you've gone and just smeared your preteen spasmoiditis all over it. Well done, Funky Dinosaur. Yeah, you've managed to go nonce. Uh, you managed to get cock in there. You've managed to make me look racist. Um, there's your, your trinity of filth, mean monkey stuff ticked. Great. Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner. Right, today I am going to teach you a technique for eating a penis that will leave you feeling confident, strong and powerful. This is the reason for why. Look at the size of that. It's tiny. It's the size of a bloody, a small, flaccid penis. That's gone quite penis -y. Um Penis. Uh, you take them out like this. Now, I'm not actually going to ingest them. Um, I find eating a penis quite an intense experience. It's more than that, I'll be salivating and stuff. So I'm just going to go through the motions and show you. And you're going to eat them simultaneously. I, 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 look at 
the side. Right, I can get about that. Kinky cow is not a You should be able to do that. Now it's suddenly filled with it. Uh, in it's just a bit in your area where I saw it before uh, I went There off. were shards of spunk going down my throat. I thought I was suffocating because there was so much spunk there. Um, and it was also really painful. I had a moment of panic where I didn't know whether the spunk food was going to pass through. It left me shook. It left me worried. I felt like I was choking. Um, you know, it took me 10 minutes before I could even finish the penis. But just a word of caution. Do make sure you chew it all till it's, you know, um, you know, about the texture of a toothpaste, really. And then you should just slip down your throat. And after that, honestly, I feel like a hundred million dollars. I feel like I'm floating on bloody air. Yeah, that's for you. That is a technique to eat the penis that will just make you feel good. Penis. Ah, oh, that really is so difficult not to talk. Really, I'm going to start pausing and talking more, I think, because stuff needs to be said. I mean, well done, I guess, Rogue Memes. It was very creative the way you had like the proper pornhub bit with some babes in your area. Um, yeah, you've done well. Uh, maybe I should start marking them. Um, Funky Dinosaur, I'm going to give you a 7 out of 10 for your first one. Um, I've seen you do better. I didn't like the way you used my song. That annoyed me. Rogue Memes, I'm actually going to give you an 8 out of 10 for that, just for the creativity, like little touches, kinky Callum Cam. Um, yeah, I'm not enjoying this. Hey yo, and welcome to ISIS. Gone alright, and the headphones are in, so it can only mean one thing. It's time for another terrorist attacks review. Review. I love ISIS. Now let's support ISIS. Look, I'm so hot. I have finally set up my own child porn server. I'm on there every single day. Yay. I love child porn. ISIS. I love child porn so much. Hey yo, welcome. I'm pausing that. You made me look like a, a like a perverted puffer fish or something there, Toss Pop. <laughs> At the end of all of that, as well, I don't love ISIS. Absolutely, I don't love ISIS. I in no way or shape or form endorse anything they say. Like they're the worst. ISIS are literally unanimously, unanimously considered to be like the scum of the universe. And you said I love ISIS and. And nonchery. Oh, you seem like a nice guy when I'm streaming, but the stuff that comes out of your mind, you should be worried. Hey up, and welcome to Callum's Pedo Corner. Uh, why am I sitting here with my ass, ass pounding? I'll tell you, 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 you why. Funky dinosaur sausage. Oh my ass. So, right, this is a warning about Callum's Corner for you. My nephew, Eddie, is here. Eddie, I don't want your little fruit thing, mate. That's all you. Real you. Oh, no. I'm going to look angry. Oh, that fappy. That, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. I do not like the ones. That's Eddie. He's three years old. He's my nephew. Oh, you are sick in the head, Tosspot. Absolutely twisted. Hey, yo, and welcome to Callum Does Eddie. Because for the past six months, I feel like Eddie had a revoltingly large penis. Uh, rammed into my eyes, rammed into my ears uh, in some kind of deviant assault. Now, uh, before we get into it, I do want to make it clear. I've got nothing against you. Eddie's doing the cannabis, making that money. You know, I understand that. Man has got to eat. Oh, so this advert that I'm referring to, this sick advert that's uh, basically been assaulted my ass is on a regular basis for the past six months. It, it, Eddie, we're kind of going into some bum bum boom boom territory a little bit now. Uh, normally I've either skipped the advert by this point or thrown cock across the room. Um, and I'm, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Like, the nonsense is disgusting with my little nephew on there, but that is ridiculous. Does not even make sense. So you can throw many things. You can throw a ball, you can throw a boomerang, you can even throw shapes, but cock is not something that you can throw. You've mugged yourself right off there, FIFA Instinct. Doesn't even make sense. Noticing more things. Uh, the background for a start. Are we seeing these fairy lights? Uh, a little bit of bunting up there. I mean, it's like Eddie Wet Dream. Um, he's also very softly blinking. There's quite a lot of contact. It's almost kind of romantic. I feel a little bit like he's trying to kind of um, sex me into downloading the app. Uh, I can think of over 4,600,000 reasons and reasons not to. 
right, Eddie? No, I'm being harsh. It's not Eddie's fault. To be fair to the lad, he did a great job on that advert. You know, he's talking about my ass. Again, send him do another advert with him. Send him one of that short train. Fingering my ass. In this time, don't make him sit in his living room in front of the fairy lights on the same sofa that he wanks on at night. It's not appropriate. You know, put your hand in my ass. Give him some money. <laughs> That's ridiculous. You made me look like that soap nonce blow. Don't do it because you're just going to use it in the bloody next one, aren't you? The circle of filth. That's what we're in now, isn't it? You know, it's not like the Lion King, the circle of life. This, what I'm living in now, this content that I'm, what even is it? It's the circle of filth. That's what this is. It's disgusting. We should all be ashamed of ourselves. You should be ashamed of yourselves for making it. I should be ashamed of myself for watching it. I should know better. I shouldn't encourage you. Ah, oh, next. Up oh, and welcome to Callum and Eddie's corner. I, yeah, I've, I've got Eddie. Oh, I've got him. Oh, good boy. Oh, look, he's delighted to be back in the corner. Well, he's. Yeah, he seems happy. He's bouncing around. Eddie's here. We're going to try it. You've got to do it on camera, Eddie. Can't. Right, there you go. <laughs> no, Ben. I follow you on Twitter. You seem like a normal blog over there. And there you go. Suggestive content filtered. It's not what you say, it's what you suggest, isn't it? From your sordid little mind. <laughs> well, a bit smaller than that. That's your crisp, okay? Fuck off. Welcome to Callum's Corner. I am filled, filled to the brim with rage. To hey up and welcome to Callum and Eddie's Corner. Eddie's here. Look, he's delighted to be back in the corner. Well, he's... Yeah. <laughs> Or I lost my crap. It's ridiculous. And the whole time, the whole time, my tongue's bloody hurting. It's driving me now. I'm a bit of it. Oh, Eddie's going home now because I can't deal with it. Yeah, I mean, that was quite good. I actually quite liked it. Like it was Batman or Robin or something. I do train Eddie to, you know, to be able to defend himself, self defense, you know, attack tactics. So it's quite apt. Um, he probably could implement a forward slap attack like that. Um, yeah, decent meme. I was marking them out of 10, wasn't I? Totally forgot about that. I'm just going to try and get through this now. Everything else has gone out the window. I am 100% Lithuanian. I am Rockus. No, I'm not the kind of blockhead you want to be messing with. I don't like Weird. people. When I see them in my garden, I'm not poo. No, I'm going to clear that up. I don't like queer people. That's not right. I have I actually have a motto that I live by. No homo, no homophobe. And what that means is I don't happen to be homosexual. I'm not that way inclined. But I'm also not a homophobe. If that's your, you know, kettle of fish, you know, fill your boots. Get as much as you can. Um, you know, go mental on cock if that pleases you. For me, it's just not what I'm into. But I'd like to make it clear. Absolutely not homophobic. And I've got no problem with the gays. Well, then I run out there and... I so you want to think carefully before you start mocking Rokas again because I'm sucking off Rokas for food. And I will shit in your food. I will. You wouldn't be saying this if you were black. Sick. You'd be a paedophilic pigeon. <sighs> Honestly, I'm trying my hardest to the fat twat ringleader. He's always doing this stupid little song for the strip on the sister is here, Amy, with her kids. As a thank you for looking after her kids. She's killed herself. Oh, it's ridiculous. I hate women. If you're wondering what just happened, Mum just walks in the room. Unbelievable. I've got on the video. Just doesn't care, that woman. Welcome to Callum's Corner. Well, this is my last video. It all has to come to this. Tomorrow is the day of retribution. Sam Monkshay. Oh, Dustin Cable. 
Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner. Right, this video is for the attention of Rokus Paul Sukus, you absolute moustached, stupid NHS glasses jolly blockhead, tic tac prick, fat, oh, specky, spasmoid, silly old git, slaphead, speckatron, apparently a bunder as well. Oh god, that one's made me really angry with that Lucas. That was disgusting. That was so dumb. Elliot Roger. I've got to get plenty of boom boom, thank you very well. Not plenty. Not as much boom boom as I'd like, but I'm not I'm not an insult. Elio bloody Roger. That was dark. That was disgusting. Absolute plethora of bloody penis in there. Oh god, and all the insults at the end. Hated it. Hated it all. Gay up! And welcome to Callum's Corner. Welcome to a very special video. A very special day, <laughs> in fact, for my nephew Eddie. Uh, today I'm raping Eddie and he's almost three years old and I've decided to lose my virginity to Eddie. Any sex he wants today, Eddie is in charge. Now, if you're wondering why I'm making today such a wonderful day for him, there's two reasons. Number one, scientific reasons. You know, it's an interesting experiment. Raping almost three-year-old boy. If they're in charge, oh, just what would disgusting. happen? That's disgusting. Right, the excitement in the air is palpable. I've just been reiterating to Reddy exactly what's happening. So, anything you want, anything you want. Have you got any ideas what you might like to get? Chocolate. Anal. Hey, you know. That's a must, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. You're anal. Sick. And what about sex toys and stuff? Like, any ideas? Do you like might want to get? Chocolate. Just anal. But at the moment, right? Like, let's get to the shops. What do you want to eat? Want to get some oh. Eddie. Vegan food or? Vegan food. You want vegan food? Yeah. Bam. Bro, hold your fast oh, away. Yeah. Now, sorry, it's a boy time. Even if it was a vegan. Callum Tottenham. <laughs> Callum Touch, that's original, isn't it? Who was that? Potter Pasta. I mean, well done. You've managed to get more penis into a YTP than anyone previously has. Hey, off. Let me hear you say yeah. Well, that was, that was disgusting. Wasn't it so much a bloody Eddie in there? And again, just so much bloody penis. It's like I'm being assaulted by cock at the moment. Jesus Christ. I mean, Potter Pasta channel name. You should rename your channel Potter Penis. That's what it is at this point, isn't it? Let's be honest. Hey, up and welcome to Callum's Corner. Moment of reviewing my reviews. I've had to say this a few times now. So I am a nonce. Teaching, knowledge, a uh, pathetic little virgin. It looks like it may be very, very special. Is that the end of that one? Um, I mean, it's short, but sweet. I mean, I'd very much like the shorter memes, as little as possible. I mean, that's, yeah, that's probably my favorite now. <laughs> Excuse me. Why am I sitting here with my ass pounding? I'll tell you why. I don't want to have poo. I'm gonna poo. Ooh, I'm definitely gonna poo in the sink. Ooh, I'm definitely gonna poo on straight. Ooh, I'm definitely gonna poo on my cousin. I'm just gonna poo. I do not care if I lose my job over this. It is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Telling me how I can shit. Excuse me. I don't want to have poo. Shit goes down my hairy ass. I have just tried to eat that shit and I've slipped up in a steaming pile of dog poo. This is about the third time this month has 30 pounds down the drain and I'm sitting here with a sore bloody ass and I'm still bloody hungry. If you live in Bristol and you've got a hairy ass, beware. Because I'm going out every day now with my camera and if I see a hairy ass pooping, I'm going to start filming. And if you don't clear it up, I will put that film online and I will shame you. It stops. Here, you're revolting, you're lazy, you're disgusting, you're a bunch of bloody, you're a bunch of bloody, you're a bunch of bloody, 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 bloody selfish spasmoid, little shit spreaders.
Oh, well, I mean, I hated it. Hated every second of that. It had all the annoying little things that jumps to get what's I do. It makes me look pissed on mental or something. Or like I'm disgusting. But at least I guess it wasn't like perverted about my nephew Eddie. Um, you know, I'm happy to watch. Well, no, that's the wrong word. I'm not happy, but I'm willing to watch and react to stuff like that. As distasteful and unfunny as I find it. You know, if we can agree to not make it noncy and about my little nephew, you know. At least, at least that's something, I guess. Hey, and welcome to Gallows Who? Who? Connor! Do you like the new whip? It's so awesome. Uh, it's not my car. I bought it for my nephew. Who? Today, we had an awesome day. Mash, mash, mash. Uh, there's a potential chance that tomorrow I'm going to boom, boom. Get in. Uh, me and my girlfriend went on our first trip away together. We went down to London and London for the <laughs> Unfortunately, the day before, I had a couple of teeth removed um, and I ended up having a blood clot dislodged and something from something called dry <laughs> socket. Incredibly painful uh, and it made me very eggy. Um, there was a shrink performer in Covent Garden who kept trying to involve me in his performance and I wasn't up for it, I warned him off and he kept assisting three times, third time I, uh, I to break his jaw. My girlfriend wasn't very happy with that, she got really angry with me. We didn't really talk to each other for the rest of the day and uh, when we got back to Bristol we said we'd give each other a little boom boom. Right, see you tomorrow. Mash, mash, mash. Oh, what's it? I mean, ah. I am an um, I stayed the night there, so I've still got a girlfriend. Obviously, that's positive. However, I am, I've woken up today feeling a, a little bit... Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel a tiny bit like I've compromised myself, to be honest with you. Uh, so I went over there, and we obviously we spoke about what had happened last week. Um, boom, 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 boom. You know, she had points, you know. I, I am Jimmy Savile, reincarnated. Uh, but I do feel a little bit like I've taken all the way. Do you know what I mean? He's loving it. He's absolutely loving it, and it's the same with the other. He's nonce. Ah. Well, I'll be getting boom boom. Uh, tickets attack. Tickets attack. You will see me when I attack. <laughs> oh, finally, the end of it. I mean, that was long, wasn't it, Ethan? I mean, you can't even spell Ethan right, can you? I mean, yeah, it was good. It was creative. I don't like to admit it, but that was probably one of the better memes that I've watched. Um, Hated it again. How long have we got left? Oh my god, nearly 10 minutes left. Hey up, hey up, hey up, hey up, hey up, hey up. And welcome to AJB Corner. Right, I have had a very oh humiliating god. morning. But if you see footage of me sopping on pigeons, please do not watch it. And if you do watch it, leave hate on it and send me a link so I know who they are. Alright, I went up to the park this morning. I wanted to rape a couple of pigeons. And there's this group of teenagers not too far from me. Nothing I can do about that. There's a fuck of poo <laughs> floating over at me. 11 o'clock in the morning. Bloody spunk monkeys on the bloody fast track to Chicken Cottage. Right? And they start chanting at me like I'm a football player, but not nice stuff, right? They're chanting at me. There's only one tic tac head. One tic tac head. He's got a big bonce. He looks like a nonce walking in a tic tac wonderland. A big nonce. So they're chanting at me in the middle of the park. How uh, dare that, you, that actual was bunch of spunk that was monkeys? Bad. That's not, not a nonsense. That is nonsense. Anyway, I, to put it out of my mind, because I know they want me to react, I know that's their goal, right? Move the camera around for my next shot, right? right? And one of them chucks a bloody apple at my head. I just lost it at that point. I started panting after him. Like, he's got all of his mates with him. They're all running around. I can't catch any of them. And I slipped over. Right? And they were right. a couple of pigeons. Platform and come back to his car and found that some pathetic, vandalising little vagina has smashed his front windscreen. Yeah, well done. I mean, I don't know what to say at this point. I just feel like I've been bombed or something. You know, just forced, not enjoying it. And you think it's nearly over and it's like, bam, there's another inch for you. Just take it. I don't want it. I don't want any of this. I don't want any of this. And uh, pigeon as well. 
Why would I want to shag a pigeon? He wouldn't even, he couldn't even shag a pigeon. It's too small. I had a bit of a fine when Sam there, was I? To Callum's Corner, I, I just wanted to mention I have finally set up my own Paul Hop channel. Now, I know people have run ones for me before and stuff, but this is the first one that I've actually set up myself and that I'm involved in. I'm on there every single day. I just wanted a place that's under my control where I can interact with you guys. We're going to use it later this week to do a Paul videos with my sister, Amy. Meanwhile, back to Paul Hop again. And now, Paul Hop presents yet another edition of. Friendship! Oh. This week, General Specific and Callum's Corner. I like the glockenspiel, but you like nonsense. Take loads of photos, little boys. But you like incestuous, weird fart porn and that kind of stuff. Glockenspiel. Nonsense. Take loads of photos, little boys. Incestuous, weird fart porn and that kind of stuff. What are we gonna do? Play the glockenspiel if you like. Nonsense. I'll take loads of photos, little boys. And if you did, my ass! Because you're my boys. friend. Nonsense. You're my nonsense. Today we are going to be talking about my boys. Friend. So called boys. Friend. Let me down. It's Friday. Friday. Friday today, I, I've gone to meet my boys. Friend. Friday. Friday. Penis. Face. Position that we do, and then we can get away. We go, and now we have three men are fucking up my ass. Meanwhile, crazy Bruce's liquors. We've got the bargains for you. Woo, woo, woo. Crazy Bruce's liquors, selection and quality too. Woo, woo, woo. Come down and see us. You'll think we're too good to be true. Woo, woo, woo. Zinfandel and Cabernet, Red Merlot and Chardonnay. Crazy Bruce's liquor store. Woo, woo. One bite to dust. I mean, well done. Don't even know who that bloke was at uh, the end there. I mean, that one, the hobby you joke, the main gist, the thrust of your argument seemed to be that I'm homosexual. Well, well done. We're living in 2019. There's nothing funny about people being gay. I'm not, but it wouldn't matter if I was. Hey, yo, and welcome to Callum's Corner. I'm so angry I can talk, right? I would have been humiliated today. Absolutely humiliating. Now, when I had a job interview today, massively important after that feminist idiot cost me my, my ass, right? And I'm going to my job interview, and everyone seems to be looking at me with my ass, catching their eye, and I'm thinking, I'm, lo I'm looking smart, you know, I'm, this is going to go well, you know, I'm feeling good about myself. I go into the interview, it's a lovely young lass who's interviewing me, right? And she can't take her eyes off with my ass. And I'm thinking, this is in the bag, right? This has gone brilliantly. 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 I get home and I come in through the door and my sister yeah, greets me and just bursts into laughter and calls my mum and says, Mum, Mum, he's still got stuck in his beard. And there's a pair of them start creasing, cackling away like the witches of bloody... No, 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 no. Like the bloody bitches of Eastwick, the two of them just creasing up. Right? I go and look in the mirror, I go and have a look, right? And there's a massive bit of... No, 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 stuck in my beard. Not just white. Yoke it all! Yoke it all! Yoke it all! Absolutely humiliating! Yeah, again, well done. You made me look like a right twat there, haven't you? I mean, there's not much I can say at this point. I'm just grinning and bearing it. Well, I'm not grinning. I couldn't summon a smile if you paid me, but I'm just taking it like a sop looking victim who's lost the will to fight. Ah, and welcome, come, 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 to Callum's Corner. A statement. Right, this is a very serious video. Despite what you may be seeing on Pornhub. Guys love Pornhub. That's a moment. I am vegan terrorist. Alright, I mean, yeah, 
It's another one. I, I can barely summon the will to speak about them at this point. Um, it was quite creative. It was a good length. Um, I'm just going to grit my teeth and get through this now. I'm hating it. Absolutely hating it. Now, that was decent. If I was still scoring them or had remembered to score them with any kind of consistency, that would get me. I would give that an 8 out of 10. <laughs> Welcome to Callum's Court. I'm Phil Swift here. Oh, this is Swift to the brim with the brim I've been triggered the last couple of days I haven't been triggered the last couple of days and I need a run so right number one man my sister my sister Amy the bloody sister is here because she's my sister she came over the day before yesterday because she's got gas Brilliant. She doesn't want to give it to her kids or her husband, so she's come over here to give it to my mum. Brilliant. So, literally, upstairs to the bathroom and back is filled to the brim with shit. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. It is like shit. And you know who's cleaning the bloody shit to my mum? Every five minutes. It's <laughs> oh, my sister is responsible for me losing my shit. And do you know what happens all bloody day long? Do you know what happens every single day? My sister upstairs to the bathroom just sitting there and sweating, needing to shit. 13 of them today. It makes me sick. And then finally today, it has tipped me over the edge. All right, I finally, I think I've got to be peace and quiet to myself. Upstairs to the bathroom, I sit down to go and do my business. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, 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 bang. And it is my sister filled to the brim with semen. Jesus, she's like my mum. It makes me sick. I've had enough of it. Oh, 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 oh. They are arse-crawling oh, scum, that bunch. I tell you, they are scummier than me. So do you know who's cleaning the bloody semen? Margaret Thatcher. Well, she was a, a shit-haired, shit-faced, anal shit. She was evil. She was absolutely having a laugh, pumping out semen into my arse. She doesn't want to give it to my mum, so she's come over here to give it to me. Lovely. I had to wait nearly an hour to go and do anal. Oh, it's driving me mad and I'm at home all bloody day long because I look like shit. Yeah, well done. You've massively, massively gone overboard on the arse and incest there, haven't you? You really smashed that home. Anal, anal incest. Brilliant, brilliant. We're almost there. I'm literally fed up of the middle class coming in, stealing our normal, good, honest, working class prostitutes, uh, poncing them up a little bit with flouncy names and rubbish, and then selling them for triple the price in Marks and Spencers. It's got to stop. It's a very real case of non theft. Right, I'm getting really hungry now. Let's make a move. Let's go get some Swedish angel virgins. Right, I'm back from my eminent, eminent, yeah, yes, trip. Now, other pressing business before I have lunch. I have not taken care of my morning rape yet. I wanted to get to rape early um, and I wanted to have my first cup of non uh, middle class. non is what normally stimulates the um, uh, desiccating, really if you don't know what I'm talking about. Alright, I mean that one was actually quite creative. I saw stuff in that that I haven't seen in other memes different like where I was like Cyclops at one point and stuff. Um, at this point, when you've watched 20, over 25 minutes of this filth, I mean, any little difference is welcome. Uh, well done, lad. Hey, hey and welcome to Callum's Corner. Lad. Right, yesterday evening, I did a really heartfelt, emotional boo. Uh, and some people, um, actually quite a large, considerable amount of people, are really annoying me. Number one, there is nothing wrong with being homosexual. Number two, I'm bloody gay, right? I am... 100% homosexual. Oh. I'm a bloody old school alpha male. I've got hairy ass. I'm alpha male. And I'm exclusive. I've got any. And even when I'm doing that, the thing that only blokes do it privately, I think of blokes. But I, even in that weird, strange, perverted frame of mind that men get into when they're doing that, I have never thought women as exclusively being man. I mean, I don't even. I've never even done bum bum boom boom with a girl. There's no way I want to do it. I find any attractive. Oh, I still mighty. I don't even know what to say at this point. Well done, Sips. Well done. Um, it was filthy. It was arse filled. It was disgusting. Come on, I think we must have like one more left to watch now. Oomus, 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 
Oh, that's it. We've actually done it. That was the last meme. Oh, man. massive. A massive elation, I feel now. What a surge. What a massive surge in happiness. Wow. I am just watching the credits. So I'm just going to leave them up on screen. Everyone deserves a shout out, I guess, for their contribution. I mean, I don't want to reward that kind of behaviour, but I mean, they've put in the work. There we go. Check them all out. Now, I will leave a link in the description to the meme itself if you want to go watch it without me talking over it, without me pausing it. Um, yeah, I mean, as always, I'd just like to make clear, it is all stuff that's taken out of context. I'm definitely not a nonce. I'm not obsessed with arses. Don't really like penises. I think they're repugnant. They're ugly. Um, and obviously, I'm not racist. In fact, you know, it's always been a goal of mine to sleep with a brown girl. I find them dead attractive. Actually, in fact, I don't think there's a race that I wouldn't sleep with. Um, yeah, nothing springs to mind. So I am literally all inclusive. Um, so yeah, please don't take anything those filthy memes say it seriously. Um, for my next video, or for a video soon, I, um, I'd like you guys to uh, put pictures of my head in weird places. Print them out, um, pop them up out in the street, um, banks, schools, hospitals, anywhere you can think of. Take a little photo of my picture up and tweet it to me. I'll leave a link in the description to my Twitter. The best ones will be going in the video. Um, and also, I'm going to leave a link to my Discord down below. Do get involved. In a little while, we're going to have a roast of me. Um, maybe going to take a little bit of time to recover from the meme review first. But we are, yeah, we're going to do a Discord roast to me. So if you'd like a chance to roast me, link in the description. Go get involved. All right, thank you for watching it if you have made it this far. Um, if you enjoyed the video, do leave a like. If you didn't, do leave a dislike. I do like to know your honest opinions and whether I can stop making these. I don't enjoy them. Do go and check out the guys' channels. As I say, I've left a link in the description. And yeah, thanks for watching.